think math for girls is a, an interesting paradox because I think it's important that we have single sex classes for math because I think that when they hit middle school, they start to become a little unsure of themselves and I think they start to compete with boys and they start to worry about all of that, about being right or wrong. And I think in a girl's school, they can make those mistakes. And I think math, it's all about making mistakes and then learning from them. My teacher likes to make us kind of have like a lot of group work and try to bounce ideas off of one another. And like one thing that we've been doing lately is solving a problem and then we'll show it to our peers and try and talk about, you know, how did you get that answer in different ways of doing it. Because in math, a lot of times, there's like multiple different methods you can take. You can solve a math problem, but then it's different to actually have to explain, like, how did you get there? And that really helped us think, like, what am I doing? How do I know, you know, if this is right? Taking math at GPS has really helped me foster my love for math. So I know that I definitely want to do something related to math, whether it be engineering or physics or something like that. Also, I mean, math is everywhere. It is in art, it's in science, it's in reading, it's everywhere. So I really try to bring other subjects in as well. Um, we do a lot of artsy things, for example. I do tessellations, just really trying to bring other things. This year, in fact, we are really working toward having STEM types of projects where we're tying in uh, science and math and computer science and then the humanities sections also do in that and then we're trying to bring those together as well. So I think tr trying to make it real world, trying to make it relevant. It's wonderful to see a girl that walks in, you know, really going, I hate math, and I could never do math. And then, you know, before, sometimes before the month is out, you know, they're like, oh, wait a minute, I never knew I could do this. It's really, really exciting, um, especially as a woman who's teaching them, because when I was their age, you know, I sort of struggled with math because I didn't have that confidence, and my teachers weren't always supportive of me, of me as a girl. So obviously that's one of the main reasons I'm teaching math, is to get them excited about it. And know that they can, with enough work, enough effort, you know, it's all about growth mindset, knowing that, sure, maybe you didn't have the best exposure last year, but I'm gonna take you where you are, and I'm gonna get you where you need to be. But it's really nice being in this all-girls environment, and everybody's really supportive, and really helpful to be, just like, turn to your neighbor, and you can ask them questions, and everybody's super supportive. It was really awesome to have all these different resources from the second I came and get, you know, even, like, I feel like I've become a better friend, honestly, because I've learned how to communicate better with people and it's just, it's really great and they've done a lot for me.